Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So today is a little interesting. We are going to be talking about some ColourPop dupes. As you guys know, I do review ColourPop a lot on my channel and I have done a lot of comparisons in my time. But every time I do my comparisons, I always just swatch them. I never like try them out and see if they are actual dupes because I feel like the swatches, although they are helpful, sometimes they're not as accurate. So I thought today we would put it to the test and I don't know if you can tell, but I'm actually wearing a different eyeshadow palette, a different blush, a different highlighter, and a different lip color. Can you guys guess which products we're going to be using today? But I thought this video would be interesting and it's been on my mind for a while where I do like a side-by-side -side comparison and I have mentioned it and then some of you guys said to just do a separate video, so here we are, and I hope you guys will find this video helpful. I think we can all agree that ColourPop does release a lot of products, and with releasing a lot of products, it does almost dupe other products in their brand, so I feel like with ColourPop, you could dupe ColourPop with ColourPop, you know what I mean? So we're gonna test that out and see if that is actually true, is ColourPop duping themselves. So with that being said, if you guys are interested in seeing what products I use to dupe each other, then please continue watching. So the two palettes we're gonna be focusing on today is Sweet Talk and Coast to Coral. I first picked out Sweet Talk because I haven't used this palette in a while and I really want to play with corals today. And also this palette does have a lot of reviews. It has about, I think, 800 or 900 five star reviews so i thought this would be a good option i thought a lot of people would have this palette and so i picked out coast to coral as the sort of dupe option and coast to coral definitely is the most comparable palette to sweet talk and there were actually some other palettes that i could have picked out on my dupe side so we could have went with baby got peach or even statement piece which is the five pan and i'll put up some swatches here for you guys if you just want to see how they do compare but today we're just going to be focusing on these two this side is going to be sweet talk and this side is going to be coast to coral and if you guys like this video give the video a thumbs up and i can definitely do a part two i can make this into a series and if there's another palette that you want me to dupe let me know and i can do that for you the other contenders i was thinking of doing was ooh la la and it's my pleasure because those palettes also have a lot of ratings as well around the 800 900 mark i think it's just because they're like the original palettes on ColourPop and they have been around for a lot longer. The other palettes, like more of their recent palettes, um, some of them only have around like 200, some of them only have like 40 reviews. So Sweet Talk does have a lot of good reviews and for a very good reason, this was one of my favorite palettes for a very long time. So let's go ahead and start off with the first shadow. So we'll go into Sweet Talk first. My eyes are primed and I do want to say this eye over here has been going through it. It is extremely extremely dry so if you see some flakiness I'm so sorry just been going through a lot <laughs> and this is what the two palettes look like side by side sweet talk is a 12 pan and coastal coral is a nine pan sweet talk has two pressed glitters and a super shock formulation in there whereas coastal coral just has your mattes and your metallic so going into sweet talk first I'm going to be taking this shade over here this one is called meadow and I'm just going to sweep that straight into my crease using windshield wiping motions. I haven't used Sweet Talk in such a long time, so I'm really excited. And I'm actually really curious to see how close my dupes are because I do so many comparisons for you guys, but they're always just swatched. I have never done like a half and half face of dupes. So let me know if you guys like this type of video. I'll actually zoom you guys in a little bit. I'm so sorry. And then I'm also going to take Meadow again onto my lower lash line. And then going into the Coastal Coral palette, I think this shade here called Anymore is probably the closest. I think um, the Coastal Coral one is a little bit more brighter has more of like a pinky type of neon undertone to it.
Now back into the Sweet Talk palette, I'm taking this shade called ICYMI. What does that stand for? ICYMI. ICYMI? I'm not too sure. You guys will have to let me know. I'm pretty sure it's pretty straightforward. But I'm not sure. I'm going to focus this at the outer corners of my eyes. And then for Coastal Coral, it's either these two shades. I think I'll go for this one here. This one is called Angelfish. I think I'll just mix the two. And then going back into Sweet Talk, just taking the darkest brown called Feel Free. We're just going to place that at our outer corners once again, just to really deepen things up. The dark brown in Coastal Coral won't be this dark. And then Coastal Coral, just taking the dark brown here. This is called Drop Off. And this one is um, like this satin formulation where it just has a little bit of glitter in there. But once you apply it to your eyes, the glitters do fly away. And now for the lid color, I'm going into Garden Date from Sweet Talk. I'm just going to apply that to the inner third of my eyes. And then from Coastal Coral, going into Diver. I feel like these two metallics are pretty comparable, honestly. They give me the same vibe. I feel like in formula it's a little different. This one from Costa Coral has more of like a satin sheen to it. As the one from Sweet Talk, I feel like is a little bit more metallic. Costa Coral has like a softer vibe. So as I finish up my eye look, I'll kind of give you my final thoughts on my comparison between the two palettes. I do think there is a difference in the two looks, but I think the core base of it, they do look extremely, extremely similar. Like honestly, if I went out right now, I don't think anyone could really tell that I'm wearing two different palettes on my eyes. And for the longest time now, ever since I got Coastal Coral, I did prefer this over Sweet Talk. But now that I'm using Sweet Talk again, I kind of like how Sweet Talk looks a little bit more. Um, I like how Sweet Talk is a little bit more deeper and it does have like a warmer vibe. I feel like Coastal Coral definitely has, you know, more of a coral vibe. And then next I have two Super Shock blushes. This one here is She's In Bold. This came out first in the Wine Knot collection. And then this one here is called Gorget. And this one came out in the So Love lovely collection. I feel like they don't look that similar in the pan. This one has more of like an orange tint to it. This one's a little bit rosy. I feel like once it's on the cheeks, they look fairly similar. The only difference really is that this one is a satin formulation. But yeah, we'll apply both on now. So we'll start off with She's In Bold. I have a new sponge here. This one is a little bit older. I got this one last year, so it's a little bit more dry. Then for this side, the finish will be a little bit different, so we're going to go in with Gorget. So this is what it looks like on both cheeks. Pretty similar, right? 
And then I also have two Super Shock highlighters. So this one here is called Lunch Money, an iconic shade from ColourPop, one of their OGs and one of my OGs. I absolutely love this. So I'm just gonna take, oh no, maybe I shouldn't use this. Oh no, yeah, it's okay. This side is blank. I'm gonna take Lunch Money on my sponge. I'll apply a lot more than I usually would just so you guys can really, really see what it looks like. But this has like a light silvery gold flip to it. It's very metallic. It's not glittery at all. And then I'm just gonna flip my sponge around and use this clean side. And we're gonna take this one here called Thimble. But in the pan, Thimble looks a lot more golden. Like it has a really strong yellowy base. And Lunch Money has more of like a champagne kind of base. But I feel like once it's on the cheeks, they look kind of similar. Here we have our lunch money and then we have thimble. As for my lip color, I have these two Just a Tint lip crayons. This one is of course my tried and true, my favorite rise and shine. And then we have this one from the Animal Crossing collection in Peach Surprise. So rise and shine released with the original lineup of Just a Tint lip crayons. And I'm actually trying to go through this. So I like to take my brush and get some product like that. And then I'll take Peach Surprise. I'll also just take it on my brush as well, just so I can be a little bit more accurate. So Rise and Shine definitely has more of a stronger orange underbase, and then Peach Surprise has more of like my lips but better kind of vibe, um, but you can tell a difference, but very, very, very similar. All right, you guys, so this is the final result. On one side, we have some of their older products in their lineup, like Sweet Talk, She's in Bold, Lunch Money, Rise and Shine. And then on the other side, we have some of their newer products. Although we did use different products, I think the end result, there is a strong comparison. And honestly, I would feel 100% confident going out in public with this makeup on. It looks so similar that no one could really tell, and I feel very very comfortable in it so I would love to know what you guys think of the final result I would love to know what you guys think of Colourpop in general which I kind of already know what you guys are leaning towards since I do read all of your comments in my other videos but I would love to know what you guys think of this video and if you guys did enjoy the video and you found it helpful if you could please give it a thumbs up for me I would appreciate it so much and if you guys want a part two also let me know as well and which products you would like to see in part two as well thank you so much for watching as always I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!